Welcome to Linux Saints YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to talk about how to work with complicated declarations in the C programming language. Now often times declarations are pretty straightforward and pretty simple but sometimes around you come around a code which is filled with complicated declarations. Something like this. Now the way to read this particular declaration is by following the precedence rules. Now what are the precedence rules? Well there are three main rules. The first one is that parentheses grouping together parts of declaration have the higher precedence. And after that, we have the precedence of postfix operators. Now, these postfix operators can be parentheses indicating a function, a square bracket indicating an array, or anything like a plus plus operator. And then lastly, we have the precedence of the prefix operator. For example, we have the asterisk symbol denoting the pointer to function. So let's try to untangle this declaration. So we have some parentheses. We know that parentheses have the highest precedence. So the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to solve this parenthesis. There is a declaration inside here which is the foe. Now this foe is a variable and there is no postfix after this variable. There is only a prefix. So we can say that foe is a pointer and then since we have established this thing that foe is a pointer then we can come out of this parenthesis and look at its postfix which is an array of 5 characters. So we can say that foe is a pointer to an array of 5 characters. So that's how you'd untangle this particular declaration. Now let's talk about a very complex declaration which is this one. So let's try to solve this step by step. So we have an outer parenthesis and two inner parenthesis. So we're going to go inside the innermost parenthesis and we're going to solve the left one first. And inside this parenthesis we have four which is an array of five. And then we have the prefix asterisk. By solving this inner parenthesis we get that 4 is an array of 5 pointers. Now what does it point to? Let's see. So if we come out from this inner parenthesis we have a function that takes in a pointer to a character. So we can say that 4 is an array of 5 pointers to a function that accepts a pointer to a character. Now that we have solved the inner parenthesis we have the prefix to those parentheses which is this asterisk symbol. Now since one of these parentheses was a function then this means that this is the return value. So now we can say that foe is an array of 5 pointers to a function that accepts a pointer to a character and returns a pointer to something. Now what is that something? So following the precedence rules we come out of these parentheses and we see the postfix which is an array. So coming from where we left off we can say that foe is an array of 5 pointers to a function that accepts a pointer to a character and returns a pointer to an array of pointers. Now what is the last thing that is left? We have covered arrays, we have covered the innermost parenthesis and the outer parenthesis and we have covered this pointer. So the last thing is the type which is the character. So if we entangle all of this we get that that foe is an array of 5 pointers to a function that accepts a pointer to a character and returns a pointer to an array of pointers to a character. Now I know you may not be working with this kind of declaration but by solving this very complex declaration you can solve anything that comes up in your code. So that was working with complex declaration in the C programming language. 